Oh, hello friends. This is Doug DiMercurio here in Northern Colorado in my home office. I'm really excited today because I just got my latest uh, coin in the mail today and this is one of the coolest ones that I that I've received yet and I just I wanted to share this with you and kind of kind of show you. I've been creating quite a collection of uh, you know silver uh, silver coins, one ounce silver coins and they're all mint state 70. Uh, perfect condition museum quality coins so they're the top grade perfect flawless coins but let me show you this one that we got today I hope you can see this it's uh, from the Canadian wildlife series and it's a Canadian moose and this is just a gorgeous coin it's really fun to look at so there's an image of the moose on the front and then on the back is Queen Elizabeth II which is last year 2011 Canada started, the Canadian Mint started minting a series of these coins, a wildlife series, and they're going to do it through next year uh, as well, through 2013. And so, so far, this is the fourth coin in, in the collection. And uh, it, it is my favorite so far, but I'll tell you the other ones. Let me just take get a quick look here. So the, my, the, the one that we got the last time, about a half a year ago, was my favorite coin up until now. I really, I really like this moose. This moose is just, it's just so cool. Uh, but the one that I got la the last time was the Canadian grizzly bear, which is probably equally a favorite of mine. I don't know if you can see that, but what a gorgeous coin and how beautiful it is. They all have Queen Elizabeth II on the back of them, you know, and that's which is really cool. The two other ones that they have so far in the series is um, this is the other one is a uh, Canadian silver wolf and again these are all perfect condition flawless coins and then this is a cougar which is really a, a you know a neat deal but um, that's I, I just uh, gotten to the point where every month I really look forward to getting my silver coin of the month because they're, they're just kind of fun like this. I mean, it's, they're not all from Canada. These are some of the ones that, that I've collected and I just, uh, this one, I, whatever, for whatever reason, I got more excited about this Canadian moose than I have any of the other ones that have arrived and I, I really like this. Um, if you're interested at all in, in collecting coins like these, you know, let me know and I can, I can, you know, hook you up on how you can get them. I actually um, have joined the company and joined the Silver Coin of the Month Club, and I, uh, by doing it the way that I'm doing it, I actually get paid to collect these because I make money by sharing, just like I'm doing with you, by sharing my, you know, letting other people take a look at the coins and, and doing it that way. I'm not in the coin business where I'm really trying to go out and retail coins a lot, although I do have the ability to do that. So if you wanted to get one of these, let me know. But uh, these are so cool. I'll show you another great example of my next my next most favorite one is is the uh, Chinese panda. These are highly highly valuable and have really gone up a lot in value since they've been released. China only mints one of these coins for every 4,000 of their citizens and the Chinese have a really high regard for them and so it's um, they're not that easy to come by, but uh, but by being part of this the coin of the month club that I'm in, um, we're able to get these coins that um, you, you just can't find them anywhere else. It's really part of one of the growing trends, one of the the, <clears throat> the fastest growing parts of the, uh, the numismatic industry or coin studying of coins in the coin collecting industry. So anyways, that's all, all I had for today. I really just wanted to share with you uh, my, my cool new coin. And I think as they come in each month, I'll uh, look forward to, to sharing my, my new coins with you. And I'll, you know, I'll probably record some more with some of the other, the other cool coins that I have in my collection. Now, I've been doing this for just a little over a year. And I really do enjoy it. So if you are into coin collectings, uh, coin collecting, or even if you're considering, I'm doing this as an investment as well. Um, not something that I ever really plan to sell these because uh, they are just just so neat. But um, 
I want to leave these as a legacy for my grandkids whenever they come along. So, and that's not a hint to either of my kids. We don't have any grandkids yet, but when they do come along, I think this will be a really fun hobby to share with the kids. And then when the time comes, this is something that I can pass on, pass on down and they'll remember, you know, the kids and the grandkids will, will remember, uh, you know, the fun we had looking at these and going through them with, with you know, with grandpa or poppers as Marissa likes to uh, name me with, with our grand dog. So anyways, this is Doug DiMercurio. Just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this coin. And again, if you, you know, if you have an interest in, in collecting silver coins as an investment or just as a hobby or, you know, a way to uh, convert paper dollars into a, an asset that will appreciate, give me a buzz. Let me know. Just hook up with me either on my website, Facebook page, or or by phone, you know, whatever you want to do. And i uh, be happy to share with you how I'm doing this and how you can too. So have, go out there and have a great day. Thanks.